Hello, my name is Andy Winslow from Northeast Energy Efficiency Partnerships. Today, we will be exploring the Regional Energy Efficiency Database, otherwise known as REED, and getting a sense of what information can be found within. REED is a multi-year collection of energy savings, expenditures, and other key data from utility-run energy efficiency programs in Northeast and Mid-Atlantic states. REED provides easy, centralized public access to this data. The database was established in 2010 by the Regional Evaluation, Measurement, and Verification Forum, a regional group that NEEP convened to develop common energy efficiency evaluation protocols and to conduct joint research projects. The forum developed the Common Statewide Energy Efficiency Reporting Guidelines to streamline and standardize energy efficiency reporting. Read is based on these guidelines. Now let's jump into the database and see what Read looks like. The main page explains what you'll find in Read and some of the history behind it. Currently 11 of our region's 13 jurisdictions supply us with program data. However, not every state reports their data in exactly the same way. All of these reporting variations can be found in the supporting information document, which we've linked in the other resources box here. You can also find the common statewide energy efficiency reporting guidelines, which I mentioned earlier. To access the data, you can either use the quick access menu or use the tabs along the bottom of the spreadsheet. There are two main ways to view the data in Read. You can either view the entire database by clicking the All Savings and Expenditure button here or its corresponding tab. And this will show you all of the data within Read, including data from every state and every year. Alternatively, you can access the data separated by individual state using the tabs along the bottom. The All Savings and Expenditures tab is particularly useful if you are trying to compare data across states. Otherwise, it's probably simpler to go to the tab of the state that you are interested in. Now let's take a look at the data that we have within Read. The first few columns contain information about the program, including the state, utility, year, program sector, and program type. Moving along, we have emissions savings. These are calculated using equations established by the regional EM&V forum and are based off of the electric savings, which we will see later in the document. The equations that we use to calculate the emission savings can be found in the supporting information document that is linked on the introduction page of the spreadsheet. The rest of the data after this point is data that is gathered from state reporting, including Program expenditures divided by fuel type. Then energy savings, which is further divided by gross savings along here and net savings. And the gross and net savings are even further divided by annual lifetime, and demand savings. The final thing to note about the general layout of Read is that any of these columns is sortable and filterable by using the filtering arrow on the header of the column in question. Sorting refers to changing the order in which the data is displayed. For example, I can order the program administrator by alphabetical from A to Z or Z to A. Filtering hides certain data from view so you can focus only on what is important to you. For example, if we only want to see programs by from NECO, I can deselect. Now we only see NECO programs.
This can also be useful on the All Savings and Expenditures page to select the states that you might be interested in or the year's worth of data that you are looking at. With that, I'll wrap up this video. We hope that this introductory video has been helpful in explaining the basics of navigating the Read database. To access Read, be sure to visit the NEEP website and stay tuned for future Read vlogs in which we will cover best practices and different ways to use the data.